All right, so go ahead and open up your player. We're gonna go over to our jump input and I'm gonna delete the default ones and we're gonna be using a launch character node. And let's go ahead and create a few macros. We're gonna do can jump and then add jump, add jump. And we're gonna create two integer variables. One is gonna be our jump count and our other one is gonna be our max jumps. So in our add jump macro, we're gonna get our jump count and we're gonna do plus plus, which is an increment int. And what this is doing is it's basically just adding one to this variable. There we go. Now in our can jump, we're gonna get our jump count and our max jumps and we're gonna check, is our jump count less than our max jumps? If so, then we can jump. All right, now we're gonna add in our can jump mac macro. And on our, sh if you guys are using the advanced input actions, we're gonna use started and we're gonna do can jump if true. We're gonna launch our character and we're gonna do a Z override and we're gonna split this velocity. And we're gonna use the character movements jump Z velocity variable. Go and plug that into launch velocity Z. And now after we launch our character, we're gonna add a jump. So add that macro we just created. Now we're gonna create a new event. This is gonna be event on landed. And just go ahead and set the jump count to zero. Make sure you guys set your max jumps to whatever you want. And now let's test it out. So we go in game, one, two, we can't jump anymore, we land. Now we can do it again. And there you go. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me a like. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. And if you'd like to support me, my Patreon is in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.